So he's a good horse at the start and doesn't get too excited. And then when you start, you're looking a little for the fresh ground and just to set off in a nice rhythm. Here we can see that, yeah, lots of, lots of footprints on the ground and we're trying to find uh, the fresh ground and we're here on the right by the string. Take that oxer out of a rhythm. He's good, he's got his ears pricked. Again, I'm just keeping a little bit to the left here where I can, but now this is a little narrow one at fence three. It's a bit of a question, but he locks on very well. Then again, we get, we get to bypass this fence. It's a little confusing for the horse. They always see a fence and they want to jump it. So it's, uh, it's a confusing one we have to go around. And here, this is a really upright fence. So we, you can see the pace is changing a little bit. I'm keeping my head up and my body position up. And then there's quite a dip through there. And he was good. He actually fiddled in an extra stride. Oh I thought he'd maybe do one less, but um, again, just given the ground being sticky, he didn't, uh, he didn't make up the ground. So again, now look, I'm close. I'm trying to get to the string just to, just to keep him on the better ground, but not waste too much time. Duck and lose the tree. <laughs> Miss the tree, save the head cam. And here I take him right out to the side now. It's again, just, just looking for the best of the grass. And you're just finding a rhythm at this point. You Don't ask your horse to go too fast. Uh, he's got to be comfortable in a rhythm. That's important. If we ask for too big an effort now, they lose out later. So there he's steadied really nicely for me. He's turning very nicely. And he's ears pricked looking for the fence. He was very good through there. Now you've got to take a table a little bit into the shade, but it's about trying to keep your rhythm up and maybe slow down more than I wanted to there. It would have been nice to see a, a bigger shot. And then this was a big question. Uh, they have to turn in to the water here and you can see I really just kept on an inside line and then I'm sitting up. And he's, he's, he was really good through there, to be honest. You're picking it up to the three strides and four strides. A lot of people putting in an extra stride. Uh, we were positive. Into the trees now. He's picked that up very well. I've turned my head nice and early to look onto this. And again, really smooth. Couldn't have asked for a better jump through there. Here, this comes off a little bit of a tight turn. Just pick it up out of a rhythm. And again, we're looking for some fresh ground and we get to open up the speed a little bit here. But again, I'm not asking for him to be 100% in top gear. I just let him find the rhythm that he's happy cruising up, but he has a good stride. So this galloping, he's, he's making up a bit of time here. Then I thought about would I go around the trees, but I actually stayed um, on the narrow when I go through the middle of the trees here. Uh, so this is on a bit of an angle, but he was really good. And this is uphill, this, it's hard to tell from the screen how much of a pull up that is, but when I walked the course, just walking it, I was taking a deep breath. So here it was really downhill into a coffin fence. You can see I'm looking up. I don't want to look down into that ditch or you might end up in the ditch, but he was really good, uh, good with his feet. And then this is a big drop into the water and caused quite a lot of problems. A lot of horses pecked here. I've steadied him. Then I've gone to go forward, and there you can see I really uh, got tipped forward, which I didn't want to, but the, the horse just rubbed the fence a little bit and pecked on landing. And then he recovered well, and he picked up the fences. So all is going very well at this stage. Again, it's really hard to find any fresh ground here. I've come over to the left now just to get out of the worst of the footprints. This is a big table up here, and we've actually gone up quite a steep hill again. So the horse, Go these on. hills can... Good boy. Yeah, very good. Good lad. Oh. Okay. So that's a big effort for the horse when I, you've come up such a steep hill, uh, but he jumped that really nicely. And then I know there's a good combination coming up here, but I'm just letting him find his way around the corner. You can't see your line too early on this fence. 
and I'm intrigued to see what happens. I think I'm, I'm heading too much for the middle of the fence, so that's my mistake. Uh, really, my line, uh, I needed to ride that differently. I needed to be a little bit further out, because you could see there from the horse, he was aiming at the big bit of the fence, which is why he had to move right. So Whoa. straight away, my reaction Whoa. was to say, you know, it wasn't the horse's mistake. Whoa. It was good boy to the horse. He's, he's not, he's just confused. Uh, so we find a way to, to take it on again. So frustrating for me, but a little bit how I thought that that actually it was the line was the problem and that's my responsibility so the horse has been really really good um, and it's so frustrating <laughs> but now we now we have to we're back in action big fences we have to keep them together I make try and do this really really well to give the horse some confidence and it goes exactly to plan he, he does absolutely perfectly like it would be at home uh, in the arena so that gives the horses confidence again makes them feel good and enjoy it. This is a big fence again, big oxer. And I was a little bit deeper to that than I, than, than I had planned. So we ended up actually putting in extra strides here. Um, and sometimes that's how it goes on the, on the cross country, you know, that you don't always get the shot you want, so you have to adjust. And he was really good to do that, good with his footwork. And now we're just really looking after him, coming home not too, not too fast because we've had the mistake. And uh, you're now already just thinking for the next day, thinking about the Relax. horse's education, Relax. making sure that he en he enjoys his last few fences because he's he's Relax. been really really good in all weekend and, and in all the phases. So it's very frustrating, but we still have a big combination to jump. He was very good there. We see a nice stride here. We get quite a big jump, and then that always makes this turn a little bit more difficult. Good boy. So I probably overshot the turn a little bit, but. We made really, you know, made sure of it. He's jumped it very accurately, and we just nurse him home for the for the last fence. But good to see the he's still happy. So yeah, at this point, we just make sure we have a nice spot for the last fence. He and there locked, we go. He, he gets a, a pad as he goes through the finish because he's he went to jump down the middle. he's been a good boy. But uh, there we go, it's uh, my phrase is you, you win or learn. So today we didn't win, so we, we have lots of learning to do. Um, but the main thing for me is we, we have a very happy horse finishing the course and he'll be ready for the next competition. And uh, yeah, you, you, you have to learn part of the education as well that, uh, that he learns how to do it. And here is the, the best woman in, in the world coming to meet us and uh, look after us. She's always there. She's there when we win and she's there when we don't win and you need someone like oh, that. Oh, it's good. He just locked onto the big part. You know.